obviously it's just gotten a lot worse in the past few years. It's horrible. It's a highway headache commuters face every day. Traffic. In fact, Toronto is in the top three for the worst cities in North America, averaging an 82 minute commute. The Gardner is a parking lot. Takes me 20 minutes at 12 a.m. And at 9 a.m. it takes about an hour and 45 minutes. This is one of the worst times of the day. The rush hour drive home. Traffic isn't moving and there's nowhere to go. Or is there? What if you could steal one of the opposite lanes? When you see these machines in operation, it's almost like magic. They are called zipper machines, and they're solving congestion problems all around the world, moving the middle concrete barrier to give an extra lane during rush hour. Traffic experts say it's time Toronto takes the idea for a test drive. You can release congestion significantly. It is worth doing it because it can give you at least one more lane, and that's about 2,000 vehicles per hour per, per direction. If there's some merit and benefit of having a retractable, movable wall, we'll spec that. With the threat of traffic chaos during the 2015 Pan Am Games and three major projects set to disrupt the gardener, we asked the city if these machines would help. By implementing a movable wall, you may be creating three different bottlenecks. So from a traffic flow, flow perspective, it's better just to have one pinch point. The idea is unique, but not cheap. For two machines and 12 kilometers of barriers, San Diego paid over $12 million. That doesn't include the cost of retrofitting the road. I think any anything that helps would probably be good at this point. We're probably 20 years behind where we should be. And these barriers aren't only for congestion and construction. Imagine how great it would be to have an extra lane during major accidents when emergency vehicles are blocking traffic. A Victoria and Shooter, Keely Rogers, City News.